We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts. Faces filled with sadness. When words are said, we'll regret. Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and we continue with my challenge to complete Ark Survival Evolved and all of its DLC. And today I'm going to be doing a simple base build guide. Now previously we managed to tame the roll rat so I've been gathering lots of resources between episodes. And my previous plan was to put the base location just behind me here on these stairs and I just kind of flattened out an area and I figured that I could build on top of this but after playing with the complete crew I've changed my mind and I'm going to nick my admin's idea Jaybird he came up with a really good breeding pen so I'm going to utilize that area for breeding now I've also got plenty more metal the forges but that's going to take a while I haven't got an industrial forge yet but I will have Hopefully by the end of this build, there should be enough metal to make an industrial forge. So I figured I was gonna put a little base for myself just out here, somewhere to log out in. Since I've been on Aberration, although we're in a cave, we don't get rained on. I have been logging out on Legate, my Parasaur over there, and I need somewhere to put my bed down. So I've crafted up a load of stuff ready but I'm sure as this is going to be a build guide that you can follow along with, there's going to be a few cuts because I'm no Aaron Longstaff when it comes to editing the build guides. Okay, so I'm on a little bit of an uneven surface here. But this is only going to be a small base. So I'm going to start with three in a row. I want two rows of three, two rows of four. I can get four that way. Let's just try it this side first and I want it sat here because there's a really nice view over this lake and I don't think I ooh, I can't place one here so I'm gonna have to do the four on the other side but yeah it's a really nice view here so and in spite of having lots of dangerous stuff around us nothing actually bother us me on the side of this cliff here I've had the odd creature just fall down into the base area, so I probably will wall it off. Okay, so we've got two rows of four foundations and two rows of three. So now that we've placed our stone foundations down, I want to go in all of the corners and place a fence foundation. This is going to allow me to clip pillars into each of the corners. So we'll just go around like so. And one more in that corner. Okay. So now that we've got fence foundations in each of the corners, we can snap pillars to the outside of these foundations like so. And I'm going to go around here and just build these up before I actually place the walls down. And go three high there. So Usually when I do my builds on the complete arc stuff, I usually cut to a lot of music and we make it cinematic and in fact that's been the main theme of complete the arc and making it cinematic and this is actually the 52nd episode, well it will be by the time I edit it and to come up just a bit higher here. Now quite often I've only got a rough plan with my builds. This is why I tend to do it off camera and cut it because I never really know. I try to build into the environment itself, but I'll try and show you my thought process. So now I want to get rid of that pillar because I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to have the roof flat. So I'm sure to you guys, you're probably thinking, James, are you building some sort of taming pen here? But it'll all come together. So I'm going to place one more pillar on the end and make this flat. And we'll have a sloped roof coming up. 
we're just going to have to mirror this on the opposite side. So we'll come up too high. Just place these last two down. You can see we've mirrored this on the opposite side and we've got pillars everywhere now. Okay, so I'm just going to get some stone walls going along the bottom side now. Now I did a simple build guide. And this is kind of similar to the house I built in that build guide. I don't tend to do too many of them. Um, one of the reasons for that is I would really need a second computer to make a good job of this. So I could have something in spectator mode and have a different angle while I'm placing things down. So maybe one day I'll be able to do that. And perhaps come up with some good designs that way. Just place these there. I'm going to miss them bits out at the back there because I want to place some stone windows in. Okay, so I'm going to swap this one round for a window and I want a line of windows along the back here because it's a really nice view. Go, I'm going to put a back door in on that one. So next I'm going to change to wood. Now, Again, I think one of the things that can make builds more interesting is switching up the textures. So not just building with stone, but using a combination. And I don't think you can play Ark when you're a PvE player without trying to build. And I have noticed that the more I play this game, the more I just like flat surfaces now. Perhaps just want to take over a cave or something because I've become a great fan of the breeding aspect of the game and trying to build that really OP dino. But I still have a go at building every now and again. So now I'm just switching all of the wood walls around, just hitting E. I need to put a door in there. So we've got the wooden beams facing on the inside and just gives, again, a different texture to our build. Okay, yeah, it's starting to come together now. There's plenty of space in here. Now, it's not really going to serve much of a practical purpose for completing arc, but I don't mind. And over here, I'm going to turn this area into a little bit more of a greenhouse and cooking area. I do like the openness of this, so I'm probably going to replace this bit with industrial forge. Let's just grab some corners. Did try to get as many the building materials together as I could before I started doing this episode. Now moving on with complete the arc, we are going to have to venture into the blue zone next time. And I would like to find, if I can, a baryonyx. I'm going to need to do the next cave with a good barry and I think we're going to have to do some breeding and mutating at the very least I'm going to need an imprinted baryonyx okay just go around the outside here this bit I'm going to keep flat now I've also placed a gas collector because we're on aberration up so I will oh that's right facing around the wrong way so in the next episode, a baryonyx would be a good thing to tame up. And of course, I've now placed the gas collector down so you can make a radiation suit. Wrong again. Oop. Try and reach it. Now, could probably put a thatch roof on this one if you want, but I think I'm going to go with wood this time because I'm going to have a flat roof on the other side as well. All right, let's just flip this one round, so that's correct. Okay, this side I'm going to make flat, because I think I want to have a staircase going up the side of the building onto the roof. I'm happy with how that's looking, so let's get some ceiling down. Let's put that door in. I 
flip that around like so to get them on before I can put the ceiling down. Yeah, you're getting a general idea now and just need to go in this corner as well. I'm going to put stone first and we'll just flip one of the walls around. There we go. Okay, let's get a ceiling on this now. I'm going to use wood. Could use thatch, but I'm going to use wood. So just some sloped roof and not the ramp. The ramp can be used for a different angle. It is useful. In this case, I'm just going to use slope seat. Okay. So we're going to go two up here. And I need another six ceilings up there. I'm going to have to grab some more resources to get that. But yeah, I think I'm happy with the wood. But of course, you could use thatch if you wanted. So I've put some more of the flat ceiling down. Just need a corner piece over here to make it sloped on the other side. Otherwise, it won't snap. And again, just gives it a slightly different look. So I think I want to go around that way and oh, I got it wrong again. Let's try again. Now you can see why I usually cut these to music, but I have had a lot of people ask if I'd slow down just for some of the builds. So, and not only that, today really I need to wait around for more resources. I need some more gas pods and I need that metal. So I figured we'd do something a bit slower. Okay, so I just want a corner piece here, each of these corners, and then we can put sloped roof coming back the other way. Uh, we've got one on that side. So three more sloped ceilings. And two more. And we're all boxed in. Yeah, I like that. Got plenty of space in here just for one player. And I say, I really like the view. Okay. Now I want to build some stairs going up the side so we can get on the roof as well here. Just grab some foundations. So I'm going to use some wooden foundations just to extend this out a little bit more. Now of course, I'm not using any mods. If he's using S+, you'd be able to stack foundations, but of course, if you're on console or any format, you can follow along with these builds. So I'm just going to place some foundations and switch these all over to block. So that just gives us a different texture. And as well with the upcoming stuff that I've got with the complete crew, all of the building that's been done there is under vanilla settings as well. Okay, and switch these to block. And then I want a staircase just coming up the side. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit of a veranda on the outside of this build. So just get some staircases going up the side. And okay, just gonna have to use a little bit of a trick to get the stairs coming up. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a wall here and that's gonna create another snap point for our staircase. So one there. And it should snap now. There we go. And we get onto the roof. And now I originally think I was gonna take that away, but I actually kind of like that can have a little outhouse on the side here perhaps uh, put my generator in there or something so I'm actually going to make this into a little side cabin I'll put a door on there just something a little bit extra and that's what I mean with these builds quite often they just come together 
Okay, just put a door. Make this one a wooden door. Keep the logs on the outside as well now. Again, it offers a different texture. And I just want to get a triangle piece in the corner of these stairs here. Oh, wrong way around. And it won't let me because of the staircase, so just need to pick that up. We have to demolish it now, but let's put this corner piece and on. Now we can snap the stairs just going up the side here. Yeah, I like it. So just need one more ceiling piece. And we've got a little bit of an outhouse on the side of it. So just somewhere to keep the generator because it can be a little bit noisy. So I like having it in a separate room. Just missed one piece of wall out on that side. So I need to replace that. And everything's looking great. I'm really happy with how this is turning out actually. Now, of course, I know it's not essential to complete arc to put a base down. And I could continue to live out of boxes like we are. I'll come up some more with them pillars as well at the side, just two more. Okay, could put a door there as well, going into the outhouse. I like it. I need to put some finishing touches on. And I'll be right back. Stick a we'll stick a veranda around the outside as well. So we're back, and I've finished my build. I've put a few finishing touches on. And we've put a veranda down and I've just built a porchway over the top here and extended that roof out over the veranda. Got a couple of court torches on there as well to give it some light. So over there it's going to be where I'm doing my gathering of resources. I'll get an industrial forge down there and we'll do a lot of the crafting here. So this building is largely just to log out in and just look nice around the area I suppose railing all around the top of this here so we've got a good view over the lake i've just given the roof a lick of paint for something different i really need to craft an industrial cooker to make up a load of dyes perhaps we'll change the color but i just made something simple quick and just inside here of course i've got the fireplace this time utilized that i felt that sat there quite nicely just got my bed in the corner here but of course just going to finish off with the shag rug. Now, of course, this item is exclusive to Aberration. You need fungal wood to be able to craft it. So you might actually be able to put it down on Genesis, actually. There is fungal wood available on there. But yeah, it is an Aberration exclusive item. And I wish they'd have put some more home items in with various DLCs. I do like them silly little touches that you can put on your builds. I still need to get a generator and a door on the outside there. But yeah, I'm really kind of happy how this turned out. And I might swap that smithy around, put a door there. But like I say, most of this really is just to sort of sit on the outhouse. And when I log out, somewhere to log out in. And yeah, I like it. At least it keeps us sleeping off of Lee Gate. Got somewhere to go now. Now, of course, I know this one is a little bit of a slower episode for Aberration. I just wanted to throw a little basic build guide in there. I do need to wait for all of that metal to smelt and I do need to wait for some gas pods and we'll be venturing into the blue zone in the next episode. Of course, I need to get a Baryonyx, perhaps a frog, and I definitely need to find an Anki as well for gathering the metal so I'll be venturing into the blue zone in the next episode as well on the side I've been working on some extra special stuff with a couple of other creators for Halloween and I'll be having a trailer coming out on that one soon so keep your eye out for that for some special stuff coming up at the end of the month and of course we will continue in the next episode and we'll be venturing into the blue zone but until next time I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.